Coffee Break Chinese, Season 1, Episode 26. Chinese. I have to be honest here, it is a little while since we recorded a lesson, so I'm a little bit rusty today. Indeed, uh, how, how would I say long time no see? 好久不见. 好久不见. So long time no see. What does that literally mean, Crystal? How meaning really long, long time. Okay. 不见, not see you. Ah, okay. Mm-hmm. So how joe How joe So long time no see and long time no record. It's a <laughs> while since we've recorded a, a lesson, although the lessons are continuing to be published every couple of weeks. It is a while since we've been in the studio, so it's right. great to be back. And in this episode, we're going to be doing something a little bit more, well, a little bit different. Early in our course of Coffee Break Chinese, we learned to talk about ourselves and introduce ourselves. And I was saying to Crystal that I felt that I don't know enough about how to talk about myself in order to make friends in, 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 on a trip to China. So that's what we're going to focus on today. And this will help you learn to introduce yourself in a social or a, a work context. So we'll begin with some review of the material we previously covered and then look at some new materials. Does how Make sense? How how. Okay, well, the, the, usual, the usual question is, uh, Crystal, remind us uh, some important aspects of this whole topic about talking about ourselves. Well, first of all, you need to introduce your name to people you meet. So name, 名字. 名字, that's something we've definitely covered before. In fact, I would say uh, my name is, I can just say 我叫马克, of course. Mm-hmm. But if I'm saying, when, when would I use the, the word name, perhaps in the question? 我的名字叫马克. All right, so that's that's a different way of, of phrasing the, the question. We can just say 我叫马克, yeah. but 我的名字叫马克. Uh, uh, Mark. And we would we, we would say chao as opposed to sh. You there. can use both. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. So can I say what the means sh mark? And if I want to ask the question, uh what is your name? Ting wen ni jiao shema ming Of course. Ting wen ni jiao shema ming Okay, we've we've seen that before, we've heard that word before. What about where we come from? So the question is, where do you come from? 你从哪来? Of course, so 从 is the, the from part mm. and the 来 come. Yeah. So 你从哪来? Mm-hmm. Where are you from? I know that this is, is, is a review for me and for our listeners, mm. but it's probably not a bad thing to, to review this. Mm. So uh, 你从哪来? And if I want to say I am from Scotland, in my case, uh, 我从 I've remembered something. And uh, then we've talked about where we come from and what about where we live. 你住在哪? Okay, so again, a, a phrase, a question that we've come across before. 你住在哪? Uh, and therefore I could say 我住在哪? Uh, I could remember my tones there. What are the correct tones there? You are correct. 格拉斯格. Oh, first tones. Ge second tone. Oh, second tone. Ge la su ge. Okay. So, wo zhu zai ge la su ge. Okay. Now, I actually bumped into someone that I haven't spoken to in a long time. It was a, a colleague that I used to work with and who is actually Chinese. And she was quite delighted to find that I had been learning some Chinese. And she started talking to me about my ability to speak Chinese. So yeah. let, let's think a little bit about this. Uh, how would we say I can speak Chinese? Let's see if, we, if, let's see if our listeners can remember this. Okay. I can speak Chinese. Crystal, how, how would you say I can speak Chinese? 我会说中文. 我会说中文. Mm-hmm. Or I'm learning Chinese, that's slightly different. 我在学中文. So we recognize these words. 我在学中文. 
Excellent. So I, I actually did, uh, in fact, I used both those sentences with the, with my, my former colleague uh, and she was quite impressed. But when, when you're meeting someone in, in China, what, what would you actually say? Do you really say ni hao or is there another expression that, that you could use? Normally we say ni hao. Okay. Yeah. There, there's one, there's a phrase that I've come across in some books and it, it's, it sounds a little bit strange to me. It sounds a little bit rude to me, actually. Mm-hmm. But it's something about have you, uh, are, are you eaten or something like that. Can you tell us about it that? It was very popular. I guess back in the 1960s, 70s or early 1980s where China was still, was still quite poor. So for people, they care about have you been eating, you know, and food was quite scarce at that time. But nowadays, China is so well developed. So people are less concerned about whether you have had eaten or not. They ask, how are you? How are you doing instead? Okay, so what was that phrase that, that was used in the past? 你吃了吗? 你吃了吗? So that is, you eat, and then the kind of past thing, the, the situation, la, and the question, 你吃了吗? La ma. Okay. But sometimes you could simply say chi la ma. Chi la ma. Eaten? Yeah, okay. But as as you say this is not something that is is used uh, regularly now. Not not, not so much. Not but so much. if you go to the countryside perhaps people still use that expression. Okay. Right. Again, uh, with my colleague the other day, she was asking how my family was. And I, I realized that I have never learned how to say the age of, of my children, for example. Mm. Um, so could we learn about uh, age in order to be able to introduce yourself and perhaps your family too? Yeah. Age is sweet. Sweet. Yeah. For example, you say nine years old, you say jiu sui. So just nine and then the word sui. Right. Jiu sui. That seems straightforward. Mm-hmm. Um, so, would I say if I'm if I'm pointing to my son, for example, and I say he is nine years old, ta jiu sui. Perfect. All right. Yeah. It's it's easier than I thought. Ta jiu sui. Okay. What about um, well? Okay. If I'm if I'm talking about my daughter and mm-hmm. I said that she is um, twelve years old, then Ended. okay, I'll have a go. And I'm thinking it's the same word, but it's a different character. Yeah. Ta yeah. sure. <laughs> Sweet. Very good. Fei Chang Hao. Okay. So what, what would the question be? How old are you? Ni Duo Da La. Ni Duo Da La. Ni Duo Da La. So there was a, a first tone, then a fourth tone there. Duo mm. Da La. Mm. Duo means how, how many. Yeah. Da means age. Of how or big, big are yes. you? Yeah. So how big are you? Yeah. How right. old are you? So the da is exactly the same word as in da xue. Right. So ni duo da le. Mm-hmm. And if I wanted to say how old is your son, for example, um, I would say you son, how big question. Dai. Now here, here you're using le as opposed uh-huh. to ma. Yeah, because this is not a yes, no question. That's why we're not using ma. Of course. Okay, so um, let's hear the question again. 你多大了? Right, and we can put in your son or your daughter, for example, if you're meeting a family, you could say, what age is your daughter? That would be... 你女儿多大了? 你女儿多大了? Mm-hmm. Okay. What about age? Do do we talk about age in in Chinese? Is it is it rude to ask someone their age? In less sensitive than in the UK or in the West. Um, in the past, we just ask straight away, 你多大了? For adults, for children. But nowadays, I think China is more westernized now, more internationalized. So we do not tend to ask people's age straight away. But there are ways to find out their ages. Okay. I'm a subtle way. <laughs> and that would be? For example, in China, we have 12 animal. What, what do you call that? Uh, zodiac. Zodiac, yeah, the yes. animals of the zodiac. Yeah. Exactly. So we say, which year were you born? Which animal are you? And then we can calculate roughly how old you are. So how would you ask which animal sign are you? 你属什么? Right, okay. 你属什么? So here, 属 is belong to. Which什么 is what? Uh-huh. What do you belong to? It's 
omitted. Dong Wu animal is omitted here. Right, so we don't need to say animal, but、yeah. people would understand what do you belong to. Ni shu shen ma. But we could say, what was the word for animal that you said? Dong Wu. Dong Wu. So is that specific to the animal year, or is it the general word for animal? It is a gender word for animal. Okay,、mm-hmm. remind me what a zoo is. Ah, 动物园 Ah, so a, an animal garden. Exactly. 动物园、uh-huh. Right. So we can say 你属 No, sorry. 你属什么 And then if I want, I can go 动物 Yeah, you could, but we really don't say that. We just say 你属什么 And then we just understand. You're asking which year, animal year, I was born in. Okay, Crystal, I'm going to ask you then. Ni shu shen ma? Wo shu hou. Okay, so、um, I'm, I'm, I've no idea what that means. Can you help me? Hou monkey. Monkey. Okay. Wo shu hou. 对 A second tone. Wo shu hou. Yeah, second tone. Second、yeah. tone. Okay. Okay.、Um, if I was born in, I'll, I'll tell you my age. I don't mind. I was born in 1972. So, do you know what what animal sign I would be? Um, let me think. You are 鼠你鼠鼠 Um, so you're saying uh 鼠鼠你鼠鼠 Is that the same word? It's different word, but exactly same tone, same pronunciation. However, remember we have two third tones together. The first third tone becomes, becomes second. second tone. Right. So, let's get this straight in my head. The shu is belong to,、yep. and then the other word that is for a rat.、Yep. I'm a rat, apparently.、Mm-hmm. Is that a good thing? You're very good.、Right, yes. Good. So the rat is shu.、Mm-hmm. But when we put the shu and shu together, the first one becomes shu shu. So, wo shu shu. Very good. If you put three third tones together, what happens to the first one? Can you say I am a rat? I belong to the rat without thinking about it. You just say wo shu shu. So the the first wo was second kind of like a second、well. tone. Yeah. yeah. So wo shu shu. 对 Wo shu shu,、mm-hmm. and then you said. Uh, wo, shu, hou, hou. So that's a third tone as well. Wo shu hou, no hou is second tone. Second, okay, great stuff. Okay, well, our listeners, I'm sure, what we'll do, we'll put a a, a link in the、mm. in the show notes so that our listeners can check out what、uh, sign they are,、mm. and then they'll be able to learn.、Uh, well, we'll, we'll include the words for all the the animal signs in our、okay. bonus episode, and a link in the show notes to、uh, a, a site which will help you. Identify what animal sign you are.、Mm-hmm. We're going to break for a, a little moment, and then when we come back, we'll talk a little more about the kind of questions that you may be asked if you're travelling in China and someone starts speaking to you. How? We'd like to take this opportunity to remind you that you can get more out of your Coffee Break Chinese experience by signing up for our full course on the Coffee Break Academy. In addition to the audio lessons, you'll get access to bonus listening materials, lesson notes, and video versions of each lesson, showing the Mandarin words and phrases written out in Pinyin and Chinese characters. You can find out more at coffeebreakchinese.com. Okay, today we are talking about the theme of、uh, how you would cope with a conversation if you're travelling in China and being able to answer some questions that you may be asked, and indeed take part in the conversation yourself. So far, we've been asking about ages of family members、mm-hmm. and also、uh, your ability to speak Chinese and when were you born, which animal sign you are, and all that kind of thing.、Yeah. Let's go on to another topic, which is very likely to be asked, and that is the question. Why are you in China, Crystal? What would that question be? Yeah, when we ask in Chinese, we do not tend to ask why. We ask, "What are you doing here in China?" Instead,、okay. so in Chinese, 你来中国做什么 So literally, you at China do what? Exactly. 你来中国做什么、mm-hmm. 你来中国做什么 So let's learn some possible answers for this.、Mm-hmm. 
uh, what might we be? I suppose we could be on holiday, on vacation. Yeah. Right. You're saying Jerli. Is that of, the same as Cha? It's the same in meaning, but Cha is more popular in northern China or in okay. Beijing. Jerli is anywhere else in China. Anywhere else. Okay. Let's, mm-hmm. I think it's time that we, we introduce both. Okay. Yeah. So mm-hmm. um, I can say uh, Wo Zai. I've forgotten the word for um, on holiday, actually. Can you go through that again? So, I am on holiday. Or I could say, if I'm there with my wife, for example, I could say, Okay, right. Uh, I may be in China for work. How would I say, I'm here for work? So that's work, yeah? Mm. 我在这里工作 mm-hmm. Right. Um, another very likely reason, perhaps, that I might be in China is to learn Chinese. Mm. 我在这里学中文 So I, at, hear, learn Chinese. Right. 我在这里学中文 mm. 文? 文, <laughs> 中文, mm-hmm. or could I say 我在这儿, 学中文? 可以 Okay, so 这儿 or 这里, okay. both will work um, I'm here to visit my family, mm-hmm. or some family members, I guess yeah. 我来这里看望家人 Right, now Crystal, you said 来 there Ah, right. Come. Yes, I come here to visit my family So could we say 我在 Jerli, mm-hmm. and and then whatever you you said there, yeah, same. Both work. So yeah. I've come here to learn Chinese. I've come here to visit family, Good. or I am here. I'm at here. Precisely. So let's hear. I am here to visit, or I've come here to visit family. Okay, let's say I am here to visit family first. 我在这里看望家人。看望 meaning to see to visit. So we've heard can before. Mm-hmm. Um, so what's the difference between can and can wang? Can is just to see. Can wang is to pay a visit. Okay. Can wang. And then the family? Jia ren. Jia is home, family. Mm-hmm. Ren is people, people, home people. Okay. So wo zai zhe li kan wang. Jia ren. Very good. Or could I say I've come to visit family? Wo lai zhe li kan wang. Okay. Okay. That, that's all. That's all making sense. Mm-hmm. Okay. So we have established that you can speak Chinese, and then naturally, the following question would be: How long have you been studying Chinese? Right. Okay. Can we hear that question? Uh huh. 你学中文多久了? Right. I, I think I recognize all of those different bits in mm. there. So you said 你学中文, so you learn Chinese. Then you said 多久了? How long? How long? So the 多 is the same as 多大了? 对. So how many years or how big? And 多久了? How long? Where have we seen that 久 before? Just now, 好久不见. Of course. So a uh, long time no see. So how long? Uh, uh So let me see if I can put this all together. Uh, you learn Chinese. How long uh, has it been? Has it been? Yeah. Let's let's say has it been the the at the uh-huh. end. Uh, ni no, ni xue zhong. Oh, my tones are all all to pot here. Ni xue zhong wen duo zhou le. Very good. Let's hear the question. Ni xue zhong wen. Okay, I need my first tones to be higher. Uh, Perfect. Okay, so, um, okay, let's let's give an answer for this. Um, I have been learning Chinese, let's say, for two months. Right, so, 两个 is two and a measure, measure word. word. Mm-hmm. And 月 is month. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then the le at the end. 我学中文两个月了。对. Right, what about uh, two years? 我学中文两年了。Okay, okay. 我学中文两年了。非常好。Right. 
Um, I think probably what I would follow this up with is it's difficult. Uh, I think I know this. Is it uh, Henan? Henan, so Nan. Uh, second tone mm. is the word for difficult. Mm -hmm. And I think what I find most difficult probably about Chinese is the tones. How do you mm -hmm. say tones? Sheng diao. Sheng diao. Mm -hmm. Sheng diao. Right. So could I say uh, Sheng diao henang? Dui. Right. Mm -hmm. So Sheng diao henang. 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 Mm. Sheng diao henang. Very good. Crystal, if we're if we're traveling in China and talking to a native speaker in, in in Chinese, perhaps they would want to know who we are traveling with mm -hmm. or who I'm traveling with. So, mm -hmm. what would that question be? Mm -hmm. Right. Let's split this up again. I recognize the words in there. Well, some of them. Mm -hmm. um, the lu xing is travel. Yep. So you said ni he, and then what was the next word? Shei. What's that? Who? Who? So is that like saying you with who? Yiqi mm -hmm. means together. Right. We've come across yiqi when we say hen gao xin he da jia yiqi xue xi zhong wen. Very good. Okay, so yiqi, so that's first and then third? Yiqi. Fourth, third. Okay, yiqi. Right. Ni he shei so you with whom together traveling. So can I answer this? I'm going to try mm -hmm. and answer this. I'm going to say that I am traveling with my friend. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to guess uh, that would be So I've said there, I... With friend together travel. 对. Right. Um, do I need to say with my friend or anything like that? You don't have to because obviously you travel with your friends. You yeah. don't travel with somebody's friends, right? <laughs> Indeed. So if, if I were to say with my friend, uh -huh. could you just give me that whole phrase? 我和我的朋友一起旅行. Of course, yeah. So 我和我的朋友 mm -hmm. 一起旅行。对。so if I'm traveling with my my wife, would I say uh right. I think I'm getting this. Mm -hmm. I think I'm getting this. If our listeners are traveling with their husband, what would they say? Perfect. Okay. Right. What about talking about how long we're in China for? Mm -hmm. So you can ask, 你们在这里待多久? Okay, again, let's split this up. So mm. we've got 你们, you all, mm -hmm. uh, or you both in the case of, uh, of a couple, 在这里, at here. Yeah. Then what did you say? 待, 待 means to stay. Okay, it's uh -huh. a new word. So 待, and then you said 多久, how again, long? how long. So mm -hmm. you at here stay how long? Mm. 你在 Mm, right, so let's see. Uh, I am staying here for. Well, can we try two days? I'll see if I can work okay. this one out. Tian. We do not use a measure word for Tian here. Okay. Just two days. Liang Tian. Liang Tian. Okay. Mm -hmm. But would you use a measure word with with other times, for example, if you're here for for two weeks? Two weeks, yes. 两个星期 and two months, 两个月. But when it comes to year, no measure word. 两年. Right, so days, no measure word. Year. Weeks, measure word. Months, measure word. And year, no measure word. 对. What about hours? Yes, measure word. Measure word, okay. And is it g all the time for yeah. all these measure words? Yeah, we like yeah. that. We like that. It's always good when it's g. Um, so I am here for two days. 我在这里待两天. Mm, or for two weeks. Week is uh, 星期. 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 Okay, so both first tones. Mm. Uh, 我在这里待两天. 
歌，心机，非常好。Remembered my gut in there. Good, excellent. Right, we're going to be talking a little more about、uh, this in our、uh, bonus episode. We're going to be adding some extra phrases in there. But one thing that I think is is important, if we're finishing off a conversation,、mm. um, how would we say it has been lovely meeting you? I've enjoyed meeting you, or something like that. Could we just、mm. use our phrase that we've used in the past? Yes, yes.、Yeah. So、when it's the same when you meet each other for the first time. You say, "Hello, my name is such such. Nice to meet you." I use be... the same thing. 很高兴。认识你 ，you use the same expression when you say goodbye as well. Okay, 很高兴认识你。Mm. Right, so we can use that as a greeting and as a goodbye.、Mm. Perhaps we could add one more thing in there. Perhaps if we want to stay in touch, what,、uh, what would we do there? The most popular thing is WeChat. WeChat. Okay,、yeah. interesting that you mentioned that.、Uh-huh. Um, so tell us a little more about WeChat. WeChat. Is so important in everyday day to day life and in work as well. Me personally, I live in Scotland, but I keep in touch with all my friends, business associates in China, in Scotland, in the UK through WeChat.、Okay. You could talk to them. You could leave a message, text message, voice message. You could have a conference call or a video call. You could send pictures, documents. It's just so convenient. Okay, now probably we should say that there will、uh, there will be other methods out there. We're not. <laughs> this is not an advert for WeChat or、yeah. anything like that. But as a as a cultural thing in, in、mm. China, WeChat is everywhere. And you pay by WeChat too. Okay, so how would we say then?、Um, what's what what's the expression? Is it here is my WeChat? You know how how do you? We、exchange? actually don't say that. We say at my WeChat. Right. How would we say、yeah. that then? 加我微信，加 is add. 加 ，Yeah, 我 means me or、yeah. I or my. 微信 is WeChat. 微信 So effectively, 微 means micro,、yeah. 信 means message, micro message. Right. So what was the word for add again? 加加加我微信 Yeah. So, so when people yeah meet each other, we always say, "Oh, 加我微信 So we just add each other on the WeChat, and then boom, that's you. That's you. Excellent.、Mm-hmm. Well, okay. I'll need to get WeChat, and I'll need to add you on on WeChat so that we can plan our next episode. Exactly. But for now, we're going to leave it there. Now I mentioned the bonus episode. There you can access our bonus episode and also lesson notes and videos of all our Coffee Break Chinese lessons by heading over to coffeebreakchinese dot com. These are our bonus materials, which will give you the opportunity to practice your Chinese further. Don't forget, you can also join us on Facebook and practice your Chinese on facebook dot com slash coffeebreakchinese, and you can keep track of what's going on behind the scenes here at Coffee Break Languages by following Coffee Break Languages on. Instagram. That is it for this lesson. Next time we're going to be talking about jobs. Again, it's very useful to be able to outline what you do for a living if you're making friends, and we'll also be talking about different types of occupations. Learning how to say that in in Chinese.、Mm-hmm. All that coming up in the next episode, episode twenty seven of Coffee Break Chinese. But for now, we would like to say thank you, and we will be back again soon with more. 谢谢，再见。谢谢，再见。You have been listening to a production of the Copy Break Academy for the Radio Lingua Network. Copyright 2017, Radio Lingua Limited. Recording copyright 2017, Radio Lingua Limited. All rights reserved. <laughs>